Oh yes, fear has been defined as false evidence appearing real. A man that fears suffering is already suffering from what he fears. And don't forget, over 80% of your fear will never come to pass. As I welcome you to another wonderful day, and as I am glad to announce to you, based on what God has told me, to tell you today that fear not, fear not, no matter the matter, just look up to God because he will surely attend to your matter. I repeat, no matter the matter, look up to God, he will attend to your matter. So fear not. The Bible says, I will lift up my eyes to the hill from where cometh my help. Hear my own version just for you today. Your help coming from the Lord, the Lord God, able, stable, and unbeatable. He will never suffer your feet to tremble. For he that keepeth you will never fumble. Though rebels may gather around your table, no shaking, they will surely stumble and brutally crumble. For Jehovah God is most reliable. In him, you will overcome every trouble. Though your today may see humble or tumble, no shaking, your tomorrow is already made palatable. For our God is ever able and available to make you stable even when you stumble never ever to crumble. So I'm glad to announce to you that fear not. God has sent me to you specifically, you that you are hearing me. Fear not. When your fear turns to faith, impossibility becomes possibility. Just chase away fear. Remember, the devil is infinitesimal. Just reduce him to be minimum and put all your attention to God in maximum. Fear not, fear not, fear not. I'm glad to announce to you, fear not. What is that thing that is making your heart to go jiggy jiggy? Fear not. Our God is more than able. He's bigger. I remember that. So he said, bigger than all my problems, bigger than everything. God is bigger than every mountain. He's bigger than every mountain. What is your mountain? You are trusting God for the foot of the womb, trusting God for good job, employment. Or oh, you are still a young guy trusting God for admission into higher institution. Or oh, what is that? Is trusting God for promotion. Maybe you are due for promotion for a very long time. God has sent me to you today. Today, that fear not is set to turn your situation around. Just embrace attitude of faith. Embrace. Put your faith in God. Fear not. As you go about your activities today, I'm glad to announce to you that fear not. The Lord will meet you at the point of your need. I see you. At the end of today, testify in the name of Jesus. Remember, this is Hey Why the Rhymer, Professor Rhymes. And I hope to be with you tomorrow on this same channel. But please don't forget to like this video, follow me, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel at Hey Why TV so that you can enjoy more of my content, those that I've done in the past and those I'm going to do and do and do and do. You'll be one of the first set of people to enjoy it so that we can interact and affect one another positively. Enjoy this video as I hope to hear your testimony at the end of the day. God bless you. Really good. As you wait on God, don't be lazy. In your passion and vision, don't get dizzy. Shine your face, run your race, set a pace, seek for grace, stay in your place, occupy the space, and surely you've moved to a better face and please to enjoy more of my content and relationship please like this video follow me and subscribe to my youtube channel at hey tv thank you so much bye for now see you tomorrow thank you